Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. I know why you're watching this video because this is a good looking car, man. It is good looking. I say this to you because this, first off, it's great looking. However, it's in this showroom surrounded by other supermodels. And so that dilutes it just a little bit. If this car was outside on the road, it is a head turner. All the time I get people say to me, wow, Tone, that's a great looking car. But they don't really know why it's a great looking car. And I wanna point out some of the things that make this maybe a little different than some of the other cars you might look at, right? Uh, let's talk about RS and SS packages that are on this car. Let's talk about pro touring. What does that mean? What do I get? Uh, how is that different from other cars? And uh, lastly, we'll talk about, well, third, we'll talk about the options that are on the car. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about uh, the quality of the car. We're gonna point out the things that I think make some cars nicer than others, and then you can make that decision from there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I wanted to talk about some of the things that I feel uh, make for a better looking car. First off, the RS front end. It is a spectacular piece to these cars, but also requires a lot of work. For instance, this is pretty expensive. This right here, this whole setup can be uh, around 3,000 additional dollars if you're restoring a car, right? Because you're buying uh, the headlight doors, the special grill, you have to uh, paint this whole thing. Uh, this is why it looks so good versus say maybe the bug eye, right? All new chrome inserts, these are also electric no longer vacuum which is kind of nice too because then uh, the car doesn't have to be running it doesn't have to have vacuum canisters and all those kinds of good things that's that first off second we got the cal induction hood probably one of the best piece of muscle car stuff in here with the call out on there right there um, you have some choices and the choices are in the wheel and tire department. So here we have a big set of uh, rallies on this car, much bigger than would have come from the factory to, to hide uh, and allow the big wheel wood brakes inside to have room. So if you want to, you leave it kind of uh, stock looking like this, or we could go with a set of uh, a set of billet alloys, maybe 17s and 18s, 18s and 19s, right? Staggered set. Uh, we can talk about that as well. And we got the call outs along here with the rally sports showing we had that front end grill. Um, the last part of this conversation is the paint part because the paint is really important, right? You can have a very beautiful mechanical car mechanically, right? But if it doesn't look good, <laughs> It just doesn't look good, right? It doesn't really matter. So in this case here, uh, I want to show you a couple of things that I think uh, take a level more when I talk about paint quality. Here's what I mean by that. So when you, when you see some other cars and you touch the stripes, you can feel the stripes. The reason why that's a problem is, is that because over time, as you wash and wax this car, it tears at the edges of things because it's above the, the standard color underneath. If you want to take the extra step, spend the extra money and what have you, what you do is this, is you paint all of this right you wet sand it then you go ahead and you put this stripe on right wet sand it okay then you clear everything it costs extra to do all of those extra steps right but you clear everything so that when you touch this you can't feel it which is really nice that way you can wash and wax your baby all you want and you don't have to worry about that happening lastly we need to talk about dust free clear beautiful paint and here uh, I feel like this right here when I say mirror finish this is exactly what this is this is mirror finish paint and and in there you can read every letter you can read every little tiny thing that's in there right and i love this cal induction so listen this right here uh we do this on a lot of cars normally you, this has pins on the back you would drill holes in the hood and have to do that if you don't like this on here we took the pins off and just taped them on right it comes with two-sided tape they'll stay on but if you don't like it on there they come right off so again back to a couple choices that you have all right, so many of our customers really are not super mechanical. They just love cars, right? And this is why you would buy a car like this, because some people don't feel like they're worthy. I don't know enough about the car. I don't know how I'm going to fix it, whatever. But you don't really have to go through all that in the sense that most everything's been done for you already. Some people don't care to open the hood. They just want to go for a drive. And I think that's awesome. Maybe they don't want to go to a car show. However, if you did want to go to a car show, right, you'd be very proud to open this hood up right here. And you'd see uh, all of these upgraded parts in here, uh, pretty substantial as well we're talking about modern heating and air conditioning is here right the willwood uh, power disc brakes is there fast ratio power steering in here we have the upgraded uh, engine dress up in here if you wanted to we could change that to billet right to make it a full kind of pro touring look where you have this beautiful polished insert here that covers all this and then we have chrome valve covers and air cleaner that match each other it's a beautiful setup we do it all the time again that's the cool thing about getting a car here is you can add a couple changes that you want to make it your own if you like it just the way 
way it is. Great. If you don't, uh, that's okay too. And we're just waiting on the last piece to seal uh, for this hood. That seals the cold air to there. <sighs> Big radiators. Uh, obviously, the air conditioning is here. We got great sounding exhaust because we start with headers, which is really nice. Um, and then you have this cool hood, which I love to see. The cow hood. I don't know. I'm a big cow hood person. I think maybe on my coffin, I'm going to go ahead and get a cow induction hood on it, right? With hood pins. That way I can't get out. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted you to see that. Thanks for looking. All right, so from the undercarriage pictures that we have posted online, you'll see the big 12-bolt uh, rear hanging down. Uh, you'll see the nice-looking dual exhaust, and it's all detailed and things like that. If you wanted to go to a show, you could show it off under there, which is great. Some people don't want to go to a show. They just want a car that drives nice. My point is that the underneath of the car is part of the driving experience. And what do I mean by that is the simple fact that when things are new underneath, things are, are put together well, a car drives well, right? You can make it all shiny on top and forget the bottom and end up with a rattly old car, and you don't want that right and then uh, the little detail stuff front and rear spoilers right a lot of times when you see cars without them they're missing something right back to my original statement is wow that's a great looking car but people don't always know why it's a great looking car here the stripes are on here they curve around like they're supposed to new chrome and stainless with the SS call outs right and listen that's a nice fitting trunk, right? It's got the decals that we have installed in here too, just to give you like an authentic look. New trunk mats, all painted back in here. You know, if you wanted to go, again, want to go to a car show, you might open the trunk, you might open the hood, show it off a little bit. Uh, or if you just want to go away for the weekend, plenty of room to throw some soft bags in there, head to the beach, head to the mountains, do whatever you want, go out to dinner with another couple or take the kids, it would be awesome. <laughs> I love this move where you're kind of walking up to your car, right? You're walking up to your car, visualizing what it's like to, to leave work a little bit early. Come on in here, see your car down there. You're smiling like I'm smiling right now. And then you go ahead and you jump in, right? You get in. Close the door. And you tell whoever it is that you're, you know, texting, I'm on the way. And you turn off that feed, man. You turn off the Twitter feed, the boss feed, the social media feed, all that stuff. And hidden in here, digital sound system, right? With this cool old school looking dash. You fire it up. The car sounds so good. It's got plenty of power. Maybe it's a hot summer day. You turn the AC on because this is a factory AC dash, right? It has it here. When we do air conditioning in cars without AC dashes, we mount the vents underneath there. This leaves it nice and clean, right? Full set of custom gauges here. Nice stuff like tack and, and high uh, mile per hour speedometer. New black interior. Uh, power windows, right? It goes on and on and on about uh, all of the fun stuff of this car and then you put it in drive and you go man and you put on some music that you really like and you wheel this thing down the road and you're looking through the cal induction hood and you're feeling the the breeze of what's happening and man it's a game changer you, you the likelihood of needing therapy could be eliminated by getting something like this it's a lot a lot of fun all right so let's close up the video we talked about a lot of stuff uh i want to run over some of the highlights if i could please we have the rs front end which is very different go look up a, a regular uh, SS Camaro and see the bug eye front end. It's nice looking, but doesn't look anything like this. This color combination, hugger orange uh, with black stripes, fabulous, especially with the interior that goes there. Um, we also talked about some things that you could do yourself, like hidden inside here are the wheelwood disc brakes. And so you could always do uh, a bigger set of uh, custom alloys on here to add to that pro touring look if you wanted to. We got lots of options of that. We're a wheel dealer, so we can actually help through that whole process. And under the hood, we had air conditioning. We had a detailed engine compartment. Inside, we had power windows and digital sound system and just a, just a super, super nice car with so many great things. And it's turnkey ready to go, which is the big thing. Let me tell you what. Don't buy a car and try to restore it. You'll pay way more than this to get it done. It'll be two or three years before you can even turn the key. Call us, 301-816-1000. Tell you all about this 69 uh, Pro Touring RS SS Camaro. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. That helps get our message out. Uh, share it with your friends. They might like that as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. we got new stuff coming out all the time. See you on the next one.